There's a couple jobs that I looked at, and one was in 2000. We'd won the national championship, and I visited the Atlanta Hawks. My daughter then, I think she was five, maybe six. She, uh, she said, Mommy, I don't like hawks at all. I don't like those birds. Thanks, guys. And when he was deciding whether or not to go to Cleveland, that was a big thing. When I asked my daughter how she'd feel, and she says, well, gosh, Dad, I don't want to leave. If that's really what you want, I'm all for it. But if you go and, like, I start high school and people will want to get to know me and be my friend because you're the new Cavs coach. If you went there, they'd be my friend because of who you are. And here, they're my friend because of the people we built. So I guess that was an aha moment. She was 16 years old at the time. Thanks, man. I think that just hit him like a ton of bricks. I was very proud of her <laughs> for being able to um, voice that at such a young age. Telling him that was almost heartbreaking for both of us, I think, because he knew it just as much as I knew it. It just kind of shows what she thought of this place, this community. Here is home, and here I'm just part of the community. I'm really not just the coach. That's just dad. I don't look at him as anything different than just the guy who was around making me Mickey Mouse pancakes and every Saturday morning. <laughs> I think I will miss the most about Rocky is her being at the office when I'm there because we have fun when that happens and enjoying her outside of work. <laughs> Every year, I've seen players kiss the floor, and it was just kind of like, wow, like one day when I'm a senior, like when I leave, I want to go and I want to kiss that floor. I'm afraid what's going to happen on senior day. I don't know how I'll, I'll deal with it all. The thought of enjoying my seniors will be very important to me. To look across, see my daughter, will make it a little more special. So somehow, some way, win or lose, I'm gonna enjoy senior day. <laughs>